Hey my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sara and if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to um, do another face pack video. Uh, but what I wanted to do was I wanted to create like a series. Um, so every Monday I'd be uploading uh, a face mask or a hair mask video. Any uh, a video related to a homemade uh, mask would be uh, uploading that on Mondays and I would like to call that uh, mask with me on Mondays <laughs> so if you do try one of these masks uh, you can use the hashtag mask with me on Mondays and I would love to see your videos and I would love to see your um, reactions after the mask is taken off so I would like to know your reviews on it so today I wanted to do something with orange peels because orange peels is something that I've always been incorporated into my face mask orange has um, vitamin C and you know that is amazing for your skin it helps in brightening and removing the dirt and sebum uh, so that's why I wanted to introduce orange peels in my mask today so today I'm going to be showing you three face masks uh, all incorporating uh, orange peels uh, so I'd be doing uh, one for dry skin one for uh, oily or acne prone skin and the last one is to uh, is for skin brightening that is to remove your tan um, so today we're going to be seeing these three and so what I have here is I have the orange peels of one big orange and I just let it out in the sun to just dry so the um, uh, the oils from the orange is being absorbed and we just have just the skin left uh, so then we can powder this down um, I'm just gonna grind it and powder it down and then we're gonna use that powder and add it with few other ingredients to make our masks so let's get quickly started hey my friends so I'm back with the orange peel powder so if you see here uh, we have a nice coarse uh, powder here and uh, we're just going to use this powder and add it with few other ingredients to make our masks. So the first mask I'm going to show you is for dry skin. I've got chronic dry skin so my friends who have dry skin this mask is for you. The minute you wash off this mask uh, once it's done you will see that you, um, your skin feels like it just drank like one liter of water. It's going to be that moisturized and uh, you know softened and supple. So this is a perfect mask for a dry skin. So for this what we're going to need is the ingredients that we need for the dry skin face mask. We're going to be needing uh, two teaspoons of the orange peel powder. A little bit of milk about a teaspoon of honey so let's quickly get started add this face mask so to this i'm adding uh, about so much of uh, orange peel powder this is about uh, about one to one and a half teaspoons of orange peel powder this i'm adding very little about just half uh, half to one teaspoon of milk my favorite ingredient which is honey so i'm adding about just like half uh, to one teaspoon of honey to this So, uh, and then I'm just gonna mix this up and uh, we will get to do the mask here and I'm gonna apply this on my face uh, and also very sorry for the lighting today I think it's going to rain in a while so uh, it is very gloomy today uh, I'll try to brighten up while editing but I'm sorry if it's just gonna keep becoming dull so if you see uh, I'm leaving the powder as it is I have not completely uh, liquidated the mask uh, because this is how I like it I like to leave it for some time because I have a uh, dry skin once it completely dries I like to use uh, the um, the coarseness and you know just scrub the mask in uh, while removing it because this helps to remove the dead cells as well because I have dry skin but if you don't like that you can just add a little bit more uh, of milk and uh, you know uh, you make the mask more runny and then you can apply it as usual Hey my friends, so I, I just wash my face uh, and I already find it so supple and so soft uh, and I do this mask every time I find my skin very dry uh, like because of the weather and everything uh, I always use this um, and so next let's move on to making the mask for the oily skin I think by the end of the video um, my skin is going to be extremely hydrated today but uh, that's how we're going to do it so uh, next we're going to move into uh, the mask for oily or acne prone skin so for this we'll be needing uh, again one to two teaspoons of the um, orange peel powder uh, and then we'll be needing about half to one teaspoon of multani mithi or um, fuller's earth uh, and also a little bit of uh, rose water to just bind it to make the mask so let's get started uh, orange peel first the orange peel powder just very little, very little. and then about uh, another half teaspoon of uh, multani mithi is great for your skin and then um, a very little rose water my mask so let's get applying 
so the orange peel powder is amazing for oily uh, as well as acne prone skin because of the vitamin C in the peels uh, it helps to completely dry out your acne and also brightens up the skin and so uh, it gets rid of the pimple scars as well Hey guys, I'm back again. So let's get on to doing the last mask, which is our face uh, brightening mask, which is also um, very helpful to remove your tan. Uh, so this uh, mask needs um, the orange peel powder, uh, about one tablespoon of yogurt, and a pinch of turmeric. So let's get started. Adding a little bit of my orange peel powder. The next, la let's add in the yogurt. So just like half a teaspoon of yogurt is enough and about just a pinch of turmeric be very mindful when you're adding turmeric because um, a little goes a long way <laughs> because if you add a lot it's gonna stain your face so just a little bit is enough this is one of my favorite homemade masks when it comes to tan removal because uh, the orange peel in fact contains more vitamin C than the fruit itself uh, and as we all know vitamin C is amazing uh, as um, a bleaching agent and so does the yogurt and the turmeric as well they all help to brighten the skin and hence when you add all this together uh, and apply it on your skin it will surely remove all the uh, tan and the dullness from your skin and make it look healthy Hey my friends, I'm finally back after all the masking <laughs> and my skin feels so soft and extremely hydrated uh, because of all the goodness we've given to our skin. So I hope you guys like this video. If you do, then please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also comment down below your uh, favorite homemade masks and I would love to try them. I hope you like the series that I'm planning to do. Uh, so look out for a homemade mask video every Monday. Um, I'll be uploading that. Uh, and so that's it for now guys. I hope you liked it and also before I forget uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every time you upload a new video thank you so much guys for the support and the love that you've been giving me so I'll catch you up soon with another video take care guys bye bye